Today we're unboxing the Pixel 9 Pro. Hi, welcome to Zigaju Review. Time has come, the Pixel 9 Pro has finally arrived at my doorstep and so let's do an unboxing of the phone. Now, as you can see, this is really, really thin. It's a really thin package, um, a lot thinner than previous phones. Really is incredible how thin that box is. I know my surprise <laughs> might be unwarranted, but I wasn't expecting something so thin to come in the mail. So that's what we have here. We have uh, two tabs here. So I'm gonna do the first one. One, two. And so we have that look there. Oh, interesting. So it was attached to the box through these tabs here. And so now we have a sleeve that comes off and Okay, it's pretty tight there. So this is just like a sleeve that is attached in the back to the phone. It's not actually part of the box as you can see there. So that's that. Let's see if it stays there. Nope, it's not gonna stay there. And then here on the box, we have a outline of what the phone looks like. You can feel the paint or the image right here. You have the Google logo, which is also raised. Google Pixel 9 Pro is also raised on both sides. So now let's open the phone. So here's the lid off and the phone is right there. As you can see, it comes wrapped. I got the black color. So here gives you a diagram of what the buttons are. So you have the power button here, volume rocker, your SD card will be down here, power, and here you have your fingerprint sensor. So let's put that on the side for now and see what else we have in this package. So here we have your USB-C cord for your charger. I'm gonna put it back in here. Kind of like the way that they put this in here. It takes less space in the box, it's a lot longer. And then here, there's more stuff. Okay, so this doesn't come off. Okay, it does come off warranty information or warranty now your support information and then here we have your sd card removal tool or your sim card removal tool. i don't know why i keep saying sd card because there's no sd cards on phones anymore it's your sim card removal tool is what it is and let's look at the phone now and so it's wrapped here and let me take it out so you open the tab right here and then slits out very easily right there as you can see and then here we have the black version of the phone it looks small it looks really small a lot smaller than my 8 pro which is kind of disappointing it is it is a lot smaller look at that difference look at how small this phone is and this is the pro Okay, that means that the XL is probably the same size as this, it's not a little bigger. And the reason why I got the Pro is because this is the Pixel 8 Pro. And so I got the Pixel 9 Pro, assuming that it was going to be about the same size. I didn't think it was going to be this small, but if you didn't know, now you do. Here we can do a quick tour of it, and we have the camera housing, which is this round camera housing thing that they did now that as I said before, I don't really like it. Just looks feels like it was just like tacked on in there. And then we also have in comparison here to the Pixel 8 Pro, there's that difference in the camera housing. How this is a band that pretty much wraps around the the phone versus this feels to me, as I said, tacked on. Now we have the borders that are pretty shiny. We have the rounded corners here. Then we have here on the top what looks like an opening, which I think is for the antenna. We have the antennas all around. You have that Google logo back here, which is shiny. The back of the phone is a matte color. Um, it is all metal, but you can see the difference in design here, how the, the Pixel 8 Pro is not a square. It's more rounded on the sides versus this is more of a square. That makes me makes it look more like an iPhone. Oh, but down here also, down here at the bottom where you have the USB-C charger, you only have one speaker grill, no speaker grill here because this is where your SIM card 
will be. So if we push here, we can open the SIM card tray, post to or wrong place. So there's where your SIM card tray is. It says Google 1600 Amphitheater MTV, which is Mountain View, California 94043 USA. So it has the address of the Google headquarters or offices, whatever you want to call it. The thing that this loses is the extra fake speaker grill because as we know, these phones are, are stereo, but you have one speaker on the top and the other speaker is at the bottom. So you have one speaker here and the other one on the top. In the previous models, they used to try to make it look like you had two speakers at the bottom, even though one speaker was dead. Here we have the phone and I'm gonna turn, turn it on to see what that looks like. There we go. So you have the Google logo there and then we have whatever is going to come up. So oh, the Gemini, then we have the Gemini think that's what the little star is. So here we're seeing Gemini on the phone already because this phone, of course, is going to come with a bunch of AI features. And then you should ask me to activate the phone and do all those things. All right, so it says, welcome to your Pixel. So when I got the Pixel 8 and I turned it on the first time, you had the same thing. But the thing will actually move when you move the phone. It will, it will react to the movement of the phone. And you could also feel the haptic feedback of the little thing bouncing on top of the ball. Um, I'm already seeing things that I don't really like about this, but I'm going to go into it with a review to, with an open mind because that's what I'm supposed to do. So we have the volume broker here on the side, power button, and then that's it. You can see the cameras here. You have the one, two, three cameras and the sensor. I'm assuming this is sense, that's the sensor. It's not a thermometer. I can't remember if it's a thermometer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this, going to put it through its paces. We'll look into all those things with the review, but that's it. That's the unboxing of the Pixel 9 Pro. I'm surprised that it's so small. Um, it's going to take me some time to get used to how small this phone is. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions for the review, if there's something you want me to cover, Go ahead and put it in the comment section. I will go ahead and work on this for the next week and a half to two weeks. Go put it through its spaces and, you know, we'll do one of my pixel reviews that I've been doing since I started this channel. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.